Pete Byrne. It's a historic night for the Notre Dame basketball program and one that Irish fans will remember for many years to come. You just saw it here tonight on WSBT. The Irish beat Wichita State 81 to 70 and are moving on to the Elite Eight for the first time since 1979. What a game, a contest in which the Irish trailed for a mere 12 seconds, but it's what happened in those 12 seconds that was critical. Early in the second half, Notre Dame lost the lead for the first and only time in the game. That's when head coach Mike Bray called a timeout. What happened from there was emblematic of this entire season. And now it has the Irish in elite company. We've been there before, you know. Uh, we've been down where teams just come back and coach called a timeout. Doesn't say much. Just says, you know, let's get back into a rhythm. And we know it's, it's go time and we went out there and did it. I just don't want it to end with this group. It is so fun and energizing to be around this group and this chemistry and this vibe. As, as much as we can extend it, man, I'm all about that. Now, Notre Dame point guard Demetrius Jackson led the Irish tonight with 20 points and shot 70% from the field in arguably the biggest game he has ever played in his very famous, illustrious career. We know it well from his days at Marion High School. After the game, I caught up with a former Marion Knight star who we've come to know as a very reserved and stoic leader. But after this game, even he couldn't hide his enthusiasm. How's it feel to be in the Elite Eight? Feels really cool. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe it, you know, just um, like I've said this whole time, um, these are games you watch on TV um, when I was younger, so just to be a part of it, continue to practice through March, continue to get better with the team, continue to put on this jersey and compete, just really special. It's one thing, one thing to play in a game that you've always dreamed about playing in. It's another thing to do what you did tonight. Mm -hmm. What was that like? I feel good, um, but at the same time, I want to continue to get better and do the same thing for the next game and provide to my team um, and, and help my team get better. With all due respect, what got into you in the second half? Uh, my teammates found me on a couple good looks, and I just stepped up and knocked them in. And then um, I, I, that's just kind of been my thing the whole year when we need that lift to you know, do whatever I can to get my team that lift. How much did you feel like you needed to do something when Coach took that time out? You just lost the lead for the first time all game, and then you kind of jumpstart the run with the two threes. Yeah, that's just kind of been me. Um, just an energy guy, providing a spark for my team. Uh, I like to play with a lot of emotion and passion. I really love the game, so doing whatever I can to help my team out. And, and today it was, you know, knocking in a couple of threes in a row, and that kind of sparked their team. At the start of the year, if someone had suggested Notre Dame in Final Four, most of the country would have laughed. How real does that feel now? Yeah, very possible. Uh, we just need to continue to work hard, continue to play our game, um, and continue to get better and have fun. It is very real now. Notre Dame just 40 good minutes. Heck, they'll have to be great minutes, but 40 minutes away nonetheless of perhaps going to the Final Four. They're going to have to get by Kentucky, the number one team in the country, to do that. But, Adam, as we throw it back to you in the studio, I'll leave it with this. You can see that the Irish are as confident as they've ever been right now. After the game, I spoke to Zach August. He said, hey, if we shoot like we do tonight, we think we can beat any team in the country. No doubt, no doubt. Thank you so much, Pete. Pete Byrne, live from Cleveland. Well, an exhilarating night for the Irish that puts them one game away from their second ever Final Four. But as Pete mentioned, in order for that to happen, the Irish will have to get through top seed and undefeated Kentucky. That Elite, elite Eight showdown will be this Saturday at 849 over on 